only all local morning news. Fox 2 News Morning starts now. Well, you know, the segment was really meant for Jason, our Fox 2 artist, resident artist. But what does your doodling mean? Is it a, just a waste of time or is it a good exercise for your brain? Here now to answer that is Sonny Brown, co-author of the new book, Game Storming, a playbook for rule breakers, innovators and change makers. Good morning, Sonny. Good morning, how are you? I'm, I'm well, we were all dying to know what this really means when we're just jotting down something or we're bored with who we're talking with on the phone. We wanna know what the inner meaning is. <laughs> so I can't tell you what the inner meaning is, meaning that I could never look at a doodle and, you know, analyze something about your personality. But what I can tell you is that when you are engaged in doodling, you are engaging parts of your mind that you normally are dormant or inactive in our normal lives, unless we're, you know, artists by trade. Okay, so is your doodling, when you're writing the same thing over and over again, say you write uh -huh. the same word and you write and you, you make it darker and you write the same letter, uh -huh. does that mean anything? Thing? Yeah, you know, that's such a great question because there was actually um, Kennedy, they have these presidential doodles and Kennedy was writing about the Bay of Pigs and he repeatedly wrote and scratched over one word repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly and what he was doing is using his kinesthetic, the, the uh, movement of the doodle to start to work through that problem. So it doesn't mean anything in the, in the way that, you know, like a palm reader, but it, it does help people get to a place where they wouldn't be. And so that's why I've really enjoyed, I'm a, a resident doodle expert at sharpieuncapped.com and I've mm -hmm. noticed that there's people that I don't know if you've seen the site but there's people submitting thousands of doodles from all over a lot of them are with the new sharpie pen because it's an awesome tool for doodling but um, but I can tell that they are a lot of them are using that doodle and that artwork to get to um, a solution or to have a sort of creative breakthrough some, and that's some, why the doodle is so useful right some kind of analysis of, of you know what their doodles mean we've all seen mm -hmm. that commercial with the guy who spells out will you marry me with all of his doodles and Aww. that's a great one. <laughs> Did, did she say yes or? <laughs> I think she did. I think she has. I hope so. so yeah. I mean, he was. Go ahead. He was obviously focusing on it, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a great one. But um, okay, so w I used to, when I was younger, I would write out the word lovely. Is it, mm -hmm. is it, can it be just one word or do you have to, I mean, does it mean, what does that mean? Do you think? Well, so what there's does that no. Mean? There's, I don't know. Maybe that was an aspiration, you know. But uh, but there's no. There's actually a lot of people on the Sharpie site that will submit, you know, princess, and they'll and they'll do like variations of the word princess, and maybe that means that that's their favorite character in a fairy tale, you know. Right. But um, yeah. But but there's no wrong way to do a doodle. So if if that's your preference, and if that's what sort of comes out when you're relaxed and you're in a natural state, then that's totally appropriate and it's okay and it's good for you actually. But I can't. I cannot determine what it means about you. You're probably right. a lovely person. Oh, well, you know? thanks. I, uh -huh. <laughs> some would disagree. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, some people who are not really good artists doodle, but Jason, our co-anchor who's not here today, is a phenomenal artist. Oh, really? And, you know, it just depends, I guess. It, it doesn't really determine whether or not you've got the gift of art. No, it doesn't. And so a lot of times I will teach people how you can take the doodle and start to use it as a leverage point to get better at drawing, but you don't have to. And even if you don't uh, end up being like Jason, being a you know phenomenal artist, that's not the point. The point of the doodle is to make sure that when you're listening and learning that you're using that technique of drawing to sort of uh, like... Um, cement that information into your mind, you know, so, because I'm not actually an expert artist by any stretch of the imagination, and I use the doodle on a regular basis all the time. All right, well, Sunny, thanks. Good information. Thank you. And you oh, can good. get more on the book on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. Just head to our mornings page.